Noah. Hey, Noah. Ed and Karen, look at look at here. We're we're on the virtual. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Happy yes. Friday. Why well, call it Friday? We can call it Friday. See what I did? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, Are you in LA? I'm not in LA, but Ed, I will tell you, I play an April Fool's prank all the time, every single day, because I'm actually here in Georgia, but we're called iHollywood TV. Can you believe that? <laughs> no, that's fantastic. I was wondering, it's, it's all cold and rainy here, so I was wondering if you were here in the uh, cold and rainy. Oh, so, yes, yeah. it's cold and rainy. I'm going to Nashville this weekend, and, so, and they say it might snow. I don't know what's going to actually happen. I don't know. If it, maybe, Ooh. you know, it might snow in Atlanta, where you guys are at. I don't know. Oh, Who knows? Maybe. Not. I'm not the weather man. Remember that that that's what I think the little girl said from the uh, Haunted Mansion. I'm not the weather man. Remember that, Karen? Yeah. With Eddie Murphy. Uh huh. <laughs> we all laugh now. You know. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Karen, it's so great to see you. Ed, it's really nice to meet you because Karen, I had you back on. It was like near my birthday of last year. We were talking about the first season of Tyler Perry's The Oval. But you look fabulous and you look great. It's great to see you. And Ed is so nice to actually get to meet you on virtual, even though this is not in person. But, you know, pandemic time. So. Nice to meet you too, Noah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So Tyler Perry's The Oval returns for the second season. It is a really good show uh, that Tyler Perry has created. But what has been the most rewarding part for you as actors to be part of this particular show? Uh, Karen, let's let you start off first because I always let ladies start first. Go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think the most rewarding part of this process has been uh, the education that I've received from Tyler. He is, his work ethic is amazing. And so he yeah. leads by example, he's a visionary, so he knows exactly what he wants. Um, and just, just watching him work has been an incredible experience. And because we move at such a fast pace, um, I feel as though I'm an Olympian actor now. I feel like I can do anything because we typically shoot, you know, all of our episodes within two weeks. So it's 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 intense, but it's a lot of fun. So um, yeah, I'd say those those would be my major takeaways. Now, how was it like to film during a pandemic? Because I, you know, I think Tyler Perry, all the his productions were one of the first to go back as far as like shows uh, when you know everything was happening last year with Corona. Um, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of um, sets, I guess, you know, they were halted, you know, a everything just kind of came to a pause for a little bit. But Tyler, you know, did get all of his uh, cast and crew back to work really quickly. Um, so how was it like, uh, Karen, to film this during uh, a pandemic? I'm sure there's a lot of pro uh, safety precautions that went on, right? Absolutely. There were tons of all of the safety precautions were were taken. So we mm -hmm. we tested. Uh, quite often, pri uh, prior to filming, we started about a month out, I think, Ed, and um, uh, we tested through the entire process, and he kept the cast and crew, 330 of us, in this quarantine bubble, and he built a camp on Tyler Perry Studios, so uh, the actors pretty much stayed in the historical district where the houses are, the beautiful, beautiful historic houses are, and then he oh. built uh, trailers, luxury trailers on there. Yeah, right. Exactly right. Hold on now. Oh, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> oh. Can I come? So he built these trailers for everyone to be uh, uh, comfortable and accommodated, and it mm. was was a really good experience. Filming was uh, it wasn't too abnormal. It slowed us down just a tiny bit, but I wouldn't say very much, just mm. because we had to take the precautions to be safe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. By the way, Kara, remember you said I was going to get to come visit the set of Tyler. When is my Emma? Girl, I'm ready to come. I want to go. I have not forgotten about you. You haven't forgotten? We okay. got to get over this corona thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You know, I would love to come meet all of you guys. Uh, you guys probably would never get anything done. I would be the one that would be playing around all the time. But it would be, <laughs> it would be a whole lot of fun. Um, now, Ed, you know, this series will actually highlight the personal side of everyday lives of the staff who run the inner workings of the nation's most iconic residents. Um, kind of share with us more about what the fans will get to see, where um, the, the storyline is picking up in the second season uh, from when it left off uh, at the season final of the first season. Immediately. I mean, it literally is immediately. I mean, you know, like, like <clears throat> sometimes the audience doesn't realize, but, you know, like, season one was one week first week of the administration um and season two is the second week and it's you know just it's bonkers but it's um it also picks up right where it left off um you know i feel like the show is really settled into the white house and we 
settled into all of our characters and storylines. And now those storylines start to get interwoven and yeah. um, it, uh, you know, it's bigger, faster, crazier, nuttier, um, and uh, super entertaining. Oh my goodness. Well, I cannot wait. This is going to be uh, spectacular. Tyler Perry, he always puts on the greatest uh, shows and movies. I love everything that he does. Tyler Perry's The Oval Season 2 returns uh, on a new uh, night, Tuesday, February the 16th, at a special time, 10.30 p.m. East Standard Time Pacific. And then the series will move to its regular time slot, you guys, at 9 p.m. East Standard Time Pacific, starting Tuesday, February the 23rd. On uh, BET, on BET, and then you can always catch up on BET+. Plus. Karen and Ed, it was so great to get to actually see you guys, because Karen, the last time we did this, we didn't get to see e each other at all. We were just imagining what we looked like, draw sketching us, huh? yeah. like, doodling, like, okay, I think <laughs> this is what we look like today. Um, and Ed, it was so nice to actually get to meet you once again. But uh, And by the way, Karen, you, you look lovely, and Ed, you look very handsome. You guys look re really great today if you're pressed. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks so much for having us. Yes, Thanks absolutely. Us. And we'll see you at the studio soon. Yes, Kara, you call me now. Mm -hmm. I want to come to the studio. I will. A lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Take care. Yes, let's dance our way. Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs>